Right, problem number 33 of section 2.10 gives us three different uh, implicitly defined functions and asks us to verify what, or to explain why or why not the implicit function theorem can be used for each one. Now, the first one is just an equation, uh, is an equation for the circle of radius 1 centered at the origin. So if we go ahead and look at the criterion for the inverse function theorem, we see that it is indeed defined um, actually, the, both hand, both hand or both the left hand side and the right hand side are elementary functions defined at um, actually defined everywhere, and we can go ahead and uh, start you know the implicit process or uh, start implicitly differentiating to find a formula for it for the derivative of y with respect to x. We see that two x plus 2y times dy dx is equal to 0. And solving for uh, dy dx, we get, if we move the 2x to the right hand side, we have minus 2x and then divide by 2y. We get minus x over y, and we see that this is a value f valuable, or excuse me, a valid formula for the derivative of y with respect to x at all points such that the denominator here does not equal zero, uh, in which happens only when y is equal to zero. So um, this, say, implicit function theorem. does work here. Now part B, we need to look in, uh, we see that the only point that actually satisfies the equation x squared plus y squared equals zero is, well, x equals zero, y equals zero, the origin. So we could, you know, go through the same process and uh, find a formula for dy dx, but it wouldn't be uh, valid at the only point um, only point uh, in this set, or the only point that satisfies this equation, which is x equals zero, y equals zero, it wouldn't be defined because we would have a y equals zero in the denominator. Now, so for part b, it does not work. Now, part c, we just need to look at this carefully and realize that x squared is always positive plus y squared is always positive. So there are actually no points in the, um, in the plane that satisfy this equation. So if we go through and again, uh, go through the implicit differentiation process and come up with a formula for dy dx, that formula is only going to be valid for points that satisfy this equation. But as I just said, there aren't any points that satisfy that equation. So implicit function theorem does not work here either.